I got a super easy and budget-friendly unit for you guys, so stay tuned and check out this natural hair dupe. Listen, we all love a good human hair, natural looking unit, but the way that these groceries and gas prices are rising, we need some options that are affordable. So I am reviewing this wig from Glee Made. Shout out to our girl, Jess Monique, fellow wig reviewer. She sent me a natural hair wig to review for you guys. So I already noticed straight away that I really liked the texture. The texture comes off really natural and it's super soft. There's no lace on this unit, just combs and vibes and adjustable straps. And then she also sends a wig cap with your wig as well. So I'm going to start by taking off the current wig that I currently have on so we can get to it. I'm just using some water because I didn't use any lace glue for this. Just a little bit of ebon spray. And then I also cleaned off the residue on my hairline as well. I went ahead and adjusted the straps because this is a pretty big head friendly unit. So I put it on the tightest notches for me because the circumference of my head is not that big, like normal to big. So y'all tell me why I start putting this on and I'm like, mm, this is seeming a little off, like something's seeming off here. And I realized I got this thing on backwards. <laughs> Pay attention to how you're putting it on because it is, it does look the same way all the way around. But when you put it on, it does like look different a little bit. You can tell which is the front and which is the back by the combs in the back. So this is what it's looking like when you initially put it on without doing any extra customization to it. It has a nice base to start with, but you're definitely going to want to customize it to make it your own. The same way you would do with your own natural hair. It's very much giving twist out vibes. And I love that the hair is super soft and manageable. It does not have like that hard, you know, just kind of manufactured fake feel to it. I've tried wigs like this before in the past. It's been a few years since I've gotten one like this, but that was the thing I noticed was that it was just super hard. And this one still has a very soft, very natural texture to it. And it's not very shiny. So it's really giving like a real hair look. I like it a lot. The main things you're going to be doing to style this unit is finger combing through it. You want to piece those curls apart and get it looking super natural because sometimes, you know, it is a synthetic wig. So the curls are going to look like too machine ready if that's the word i want to use so you're gonna have to you know finger comb those and then also customizing the bangs to make sure they fit for your face and your forehead i have a smaller forehead so i ended up cutting the bangs up a little bit higher so that way i could see when cutting this hair you want to make sure that you're not pulling the curls because if you pull and then cut it's going to end up being shorter than you want it to be so make sure you're keeping it at the like place that it's in so it doesn't go up too high and I'm going to keep letting y'all watch the process, but it's really just you keep fluffing and you keep cutting until you get the shape that you want for the fro and the way that you want your bangs. But it's very simple, very easy and quick and easy, especially once you finish doing this. I pop this on and go now all the time. I haven't experienced any shedding really with this outside of, you know, me cutting at it. So it's going to shed a little bit, but nothing excess. And then as far as tangling goes, I mean, it's curly, it's kinky, it's synthetic. It's going to tangle a little bit. But if you're leaving it alone after you've customized it, you should be fine. I absolutely love the fullness of it. It's super natural. Not too little, not too much. Just how I like it. <laughs> the bright idea to see if pulling it back above my bangs would be cute and actually I like it more than I did in the mirror it was kind of a look but anyways here is the final result this came out super natural looking especially for being a very affordable pocket friendly synthetic wig this looks like it's growing out of my scalp if you're interested all the details will be down below in the description box use my code Shiba10 for some money off and I'll see you on my next one bye